Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is blessed. I'm doing I'm blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. I hope you're enjoying your beautiful weekend as well. And for uh, all my newcomers, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs and my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, seeing the things that you need to see through all sacredness and visions. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you are comfortable enough, I mean, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell at the bottom. And um, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video, that, that, that notification ding <laughs> distracted me. I'm sorry. Um... And if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is really informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark and trying times right now, needs an uplift or just validation or confirmation towards their journey, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video today. Um, the meditation video I have on and it's really messing with my heart chakra right now um, is called uh, Nine Solfigo Frequencies at Once Music Powerful Level 100 Vibration Meditation with Binary Beats and I will post that link in the description box below that is really messing with my heart chakra but I'm glad because I need help with that because things have been pretty heavy for me um, and my video today is Twin Flame 101, Kaoka's when creator and source are sending you signs, sending you, sending you signs and images for your current path. They are, it's like, you've probably been synchronizing a lot lately. Oh, y'all must be on something good because them lights start flickering again. It's like, as soon as I started my first video, it was like, pew, pew, pew. You know, I don't know if y'all go, y'all seen it in that last video. I'm like, oh Lord, here we go. My hands were starting to move, and all of a sudden the flashes started coming around when I started moving my hands. But um, it's just uh, they start sending us signs, and um, let me turn it down again. Uh, they start sending us signs through everything. Through if it's not through people, it's through our visions. If it's not through our visions, it's through our dreams. If it's not through our dreams, it's through our daydreams. You know, I'm a type of person. I'll, I I could be sitting up here like typing in my stuff for you know my descriptions in for my my videos the information, and I'll just get stuck in thought. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay. Or you know, when I meditate, I start getting all these different visions and. You know, it's just basically helping me on my current path, you know, things that I need to pay attention to, things that I need to go towards, you know, um, people will send me different uh, links towards things and I, you know, I learn and research and stuff like that off of that or y'all drop me current lines and say, hey, Rosalind, you ever heard of this or, oh, Rosalind, can you talk about this? I love it when y'all, you know, when you drop me lines and, you know, if you want me to talk about something on a certain subject please go ahead and drop me a line and let me know um and if i can I'll, I'll definitely go ahead and speak on it and make a video about it and give you a shout out for it as well if you don't mind um but yes we we are dealing with so many different things right now that you know when you probably first started your spiritual awakening um it could have been confusing especially you know i feel for people that don't understand why they're going through what they're going through why they're feeling the things that they're feeling you know are they going crazy there's things that they're missing out on you know they're feeling detached from their lives and you know uh really tra you know traumatizing things that happened to that point where it made them detached from their life so it's just like i love like i love doing my videos it's like I got signs about different things, you know, I started watching YouTube, uh, while I was watching YouTube for a while, you know, on different videos and stuff like that, I was always into TV, but now it's just like I stopped watching 
so much TV. Only time I actually watch TV is on Sundays and Mondays. Other than that, I don't watch it. I just have certain shows that I DVR and go ahead and watch it then. But it's just like, you know, doing this situation, making motivational speak, uh, videos for empaths. You know, I had different dreams about the things that I was doing. You know, I would hear a little voice in my head, hey, start making video diaries. So I started making video diaries for myself because it was really uh, hard for me to speak to people on this frequency. You know, not knowing if people are going to think I'm crazy because there are certain things I've told people. Um, in my, you know, in my current friendships that I'm no longer in, they would think I was crazy because I was, I'd tell them, oh, I was able to see spirits and stuff like that. They really thought I was crazy. And, you know, they looked at me different. I'm just like, you know what, let me stop talking to them about that because if you're not woke, you ain't going to understand the things I'm going through because they will really seriously think you're crazy. So it's just like when I started doing the, you know, when I, after I lost my father, and trying to be on the search for my mom. I've been looking for my mom and trying to find out who my biological father was for like since I was like 14. I already knew since I was like five or six. Well, actually, yeah, since I was five or six, I knew my parents weren't my parents. And you know, my mom just get real mad and she's like, Do we not love you enough? I said, No, it's not that, but I know I didn't come from you. I know that you're not my, you know, because all my friends look like either their mom or their dad, and I don't look like either one. And people always used to try to say I look like my adopted dad. I said, I really don't see what y'all see. I really don't see it at all. But then when I look at certain like features from my adopted dad, he does have certain features that my dad has and he has at the same time. So that was kind of, you know, weird. Because at first I'm like, dad, you sure your dad is your dad? Are you sure this ain't my dad? And y'all, you know, did a Medea thing and had, you know, y'all left me out for adoption and, you know, my grandparents raised me. I, you know, thought some crazy stuff like that because he kind of favored my dad a little bit. And, um, but it's just like bringing me towards this way. It gave me things that they needed me to talk about, me to, me to share light on awareness. All these different beautiful things that came in my life while alone, I'm dealing with different, you know, tra traumatic situations. And it's just like the more things that I went through, the more things that I talked to y'all about. And it's just like the more I talked about it, the more y'all related to it. So it's just like creator and source has sent me a lot of things, a lot of things that, you know, they're telling us, oh, this is the reason why y'all going through these crazy shifts. They'll have like my extended family come back and tell me, oh, this has happened. That's the reason why it's going on. Or, you know, one of y'all comment and drop, oh, Rosalind, this, this is going on. So that's the reason why you're feeling all these different things. I'm like, oh. But just going through all these different things towards your path when you're not sure I always tell people when you're not sure if you know if you drop me a line because it's either I always tell people you can either meditate and get your answer or when you come to me I say I'm just like that roll of decks for empaths you know there's a lot of things that y'all tell me like your past experiences or your situations that you're going through and I'm just like hey you know this sounds like you're this you know because I've had people talk to me and I'm like did you know you're a witch or you did you know you 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 were you know a star seed or a rainbow kid you know different things like that and I'm like wait a minute hold up and then I start sending them videos and links and stuff like that so basically you know I'm you know, I'm getting my help and y'all are receiving it too. Even if it's like through my videos or something that you pulled up or there's voices that you hear in your ear and it's telling you to look up certain things. Because I've had those happen to me a lot as well. And it'll, it'll just help you on your current path because like I said, it could be really scary at times. When you don't know why you're acting the way you're acting. You don't know why you have these certain feelings about certain things. Why you feel drained when you get around a lot of people. Why you know does it seem like people always want to come to you like you're a problem solver or they feel like you're you're their human diary they can trust trust you I always had people tell me you know i love talking to you because you never judge me um you don't say anything about stuff you know when i tell you i'm like why am i gonna tell it I, especially if it's something that really need to be kept i tend to like um, mentally make myself erase that out of my mind so i don't think about it anymore you know, and it's just like being able to do that, it's just a true blessing to me. You know, some people ask me, Rosalind, why do you do your videos or, you know, you're so dedicated. And I'm like, yes, I'm dedicated because I love what I do. You know, I, I didn't have the, this kind of resource, you know, to help me along my way. You know, I had to find everything else on my own and 
I knew what that felt like, you know, feeling lost and not having any guidance. And I just asked God to help me and didn't realize they were just guiding me towards the steps of doing this. You know, I'm thinking my path was like, hey, do videos to find your biological mom. And next thing you know, it's make, you know, making videos to help other empaths that are relating to dark times. But I had to be able to put my videos out for me to be able to tell you. See, it goes again. Being able to tell you. <laughs> Being able to tell you about my certain situations that got me to where I was making videos, losing my father, finding out who my father was, being in an abusive household with an abusive relationship, um, dealing with a lot of different, uh, you know, uh, addictions and, you know, um, healing from a lot of different trauma to help other people and did not know it was going to end up going that far. So it's just like, you know, a thousand and some videos later and over a thousand subscribers within two years. I mean, that's truly a blessing to be knowing, you know, that I've been able to help that many people. I mean, even when I already feel y'all when y'all don't even drop comments to me, but it's a beautiful feeling to let me know I'm a part of your journey. I've helped you realize a lot of things you weren't able to realize for yourself. You're being able to give yourself that pat on the back when you know you deserve it. Even when somebody else don't feel like you deserve it, you can give your own self a pat on the back. You don't need any other people to validate things for you to make you feel important. You should feel important to yourself as well. You know, we've, we've been in a situation where you have experienced trauma to where you, you look down on yourself. Um, you didn't give yourself that that credit you need to give yourself that credit for so it's just like when you go through these things you know you gotta pay attention to the signs pay attention to your visions and the images that they send you you know i always google is my best friend if i don't you know if i have a strange dream because my dreams can get really crazy lately like really dark at times and i'm just like i'll jump up like you know sometimes i have them and i don't remember but then i'll wake up happy so I know there was good things that went on in my dream, probably, you know, me conversating with my dad or something like that. And I, you know, I look at him and I say, thank you. And, you know, going through all these different things has helped me heal in a lot of ways. You know, I'm, I still go through a lot of struggles day by day, but, you know, I can say I'm learning from them. You know, even though they're really hard to have to grasp the concept of healing, you know, I mean, it's hard to lose a parent, especially you know, I don't have my real mother in my life. So, you know, my, my adopted mother is, is my mom. You know, it's just like my mom was like, she was just a carrier just to bring me here on earth. She wasn't really a mom figure to me. So being able to say, you know, I'm blessed that she decided to keep me when she didn't have to. Um, and she brought me here because I had a purpose that I needed to have um, to do. And I'm good, you know. But, you know, I, like I said, I still, you know, struggle here you know healing when it comes especially when it comes to my passing my father and all the things i went through but being able to make these videos and knowing i can take part on somebody's journey to to allow them to see a lot of things that they weren't able to see for that that's the true blessing within itself for me so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video much love to you drop me a line if you've been getting these wild dreams and images that so source and creator has been sending you and um you know, drop me a line so I'll be able to give you a shout out in my next video. Give me your feedback, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, share, and give me a thumbs up. It's all greatly appreciated. I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Mimi B. Much love to you and Sydney Ann. And stay blessed. Stay safe. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I do that for y'all. Hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. And starting off this week, have a blessed week as well. And um, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Be wild. Well.